Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve uh, some uh, IB uh, past uh, paper problems uh, from uh, paper one. Uh, this document has already been shared with you in Google uh, uh, Drive. Uh, uh, the title is Topic uh, 4 and Topic 9 uh, HL waves. Now, there is about 73 questions uh, in the document. Uh, I'm going to solve as many questions as I can. If you have any question, just ask me uh, during the email, uh, during the class time, or send me an email, uh, or send me an email or on uh, manage back. Now I'm going to start with question number two. Uh, here we have a trans verse traveling wave is moving through a medium. The graph shows for one instant the variation with distance of displacement of particles in the medium. So here we have variation between displacement of particle and distance. The frequency of the wave 25 hertz, so this is F, the speed of the wave B is 100 meter per second. The correct answer for this wave is A. The particles at X and Y are in phase. Let's see. At X, the phase here is pi over 2. At Y here, it's pi. At this point is 3 pi over 2 or 270. And here, 2 pi. 360. So this answer is no, they're not in phase. There is phase difference between them. The velocity of the particle at X is maximum. OK, let's see here we have a displacement. So the velocity will be the gradient or the slope. Now at X, the slope here horizontal. So velocity is zero, it's not maximum. So this answer as well is wrong. The horizontal displacement between X and Z is three meter. Let's see, between this, between X and Z, between X and Z. Let's just clean this one. Going to find the wavelength lambda. Okay. How can I find lambda? I have velocity, it's lambda times the frequency. If I need lambda, it's velocity divided by the frequency. Velocity of the particle is 100, frequency is 25. So lambda is. Four. Lambda is the distance between two points that are in phase or they're doing the same thing. So if I take this point, this point is oscillating up. This point here down and this point here is oscillating up. So this distance from here till here lambda and this lambda is four meter. Four meter. The distance between X and Y, will it be three? Yes. So the correct answer, this is four meter. Okay, so each one here will be two. So it's about three meter. So this answer is correct. The distance between X and Z, meter. OK. Now. Uh, I'm going to solve question three. Question three, you have monochromatic light. Monochromatic, it means one uh, color with the same uh, frequency. Is used to produce uh, to produce double slit interference fringes on a screen. The fringes. The fringe separation on the screen is Y. OK, so here we have. 
the apple is left, the distance between them is a small d. Here I have light, has wavelength lambda. And here we have a screen. The distance between uh, the slits and the screen is capital letter D. Here we will have bright fringes, the interference pattern, uh, pattern uh, dark fringe, uh, dark fringe, and then bright, etc. The distance between the central uh, maximum and the first maximum. This is S or what here, here he call it Y. The formula for double slit lambda over D equals this distance Y divided by the capital Y, the capital D. Now what's happened? What if I, uh, the distance from the slit on the screen and the separation now are both doubled. So this distance is double. So the new formula, now, I'm going to double the distance between the fringes and double the distance to the screen. What will be, what is the new fringe separation on the screen? Nothing, nothing actually happened because this and this, they cancel out. So still, still to remain Y. OK, now four, four you're going to use. This is polarization, so unpolarized light. Unpolarized light, it means that light vibrates in all direction. Now we said, we said we're going to use only X and Y direction for simplicity. OK. This is unpolarized light is incident on two polarize, uh, polarizing filter X and Y. They are arranged so that light emerged from Y has a maximum intensity. X is fixed and Y is rotated through theta about the direction of the incident beam. What is the first three uh, successive values of theta? Now the formula. I have I naught cosine square theta, cosine square theta. So I need uh, maximum intensity. When the cosine is maximum, when theta equals 100, 180, which means pi or 180, 2 pi, 360, and 540. So the correct answer is C. OK. We'll go to question number six. And I think it's easy, but let's do it. Let's do this question. Here you have a graph that shows the variation with time. For the displacement of a particle in a traveling wave. So I have relationship between displacement 10 to the power 6 meter and time 10 to the power 6 second. What is the frequency and the amplitude? Let's start with the amplitude. Amplitude is maximum displacement. So maximum displacement here is 2. Amplitude is 2 times 10 to the power negative 6 meter or to micro. Now, frequency, frequency is the inverse of period. Now, the period of time, the distance between two uh, consecutive points. Okay, so if I take this point, the first crest and the second crest, the distance here is what time. 20 millisecond, so it will be 1 divided by 20 times 10 to the power negative 6. And this will give us 50,000. 50,000, that means 50,000 hertz or 50 kilohertz. Kilo hertz. 
So the correct answer is C. C is the correct answer. OK. We're going to question number seven. Okay. Question seven. You have a pipe of length 0.6 is filled with a gas and closed at one end. Closed at one end. The speed of sound, so the velocity of sound in the gas is 300 meter per second. What are the frequencies of the first two harmonics? Now close at one end, this is the first harmonic. Here we have node and here anti node. So length L, it's quarter lambda. If I do cross multiplication, lambda will be 4L divided by N. N goes from 1, 3, odd numbers. So frequency, the velocity divided by lambda. So V divided by 4L over N. This is the frequency. So I need the first harmonic, F1, with a velocity, which is 300, divided by 4 times the length 0.6. The third harmonic will be 3 times 300, divided by 4 times 0.6, or 3 times F1. So if you calculate these two answers, you should get 125 and the other one, 375 hertz. Okay. Now it, you have a particle, performs simple harmonic motion. What is the phase difference between displacement and acceleration? Always simple harmonic motion, acceleration directly proportional with negative that displacement. So phase difference is pi. Okay. Okay, number nine. Number nine is an easy question. Yeah, remember, kinetic energy, it's half. M V square. Since you have V square, so you should eliminate the negative. Okay. And we're talking about kinetic energy. We're talking about kinetic energy versus the period. So the lambda, lambda will be uh, short. Okay. 10. 10 is easy question, 11 is easy. We're going to, all of them, I, they're not that hard, but um, I tend to solve questions that you need to use formula to solve them. Okay, a question that you need to memorize and understand, I'm gonna leave them for you. Question number 12. 12, okay, you have a string, Fixed at both end, vibrate in the first harmonic. Fixed at both end. So this is the first harmonic, L equals lambda over two. So lambda will be two L over N. N goes from one, two, three, etc. Okay, now I need the length uh, of the spray. He gives you what he gave you, the frequency F. He give you the speed V, so frequency is velocity divided by lambda 2L and here N. The first harmonic N equals 1, so 400 V equal 1 times the velocity divided by 2L. Cross multiplication and find L. So L will be equal. 480 divided by 2 times 800 divided by 800. 480, 
800. We should get 0.6 meter. 0.6 meter. Okay. Now question 13. Question 13, you have a graph that shows the variation of the displacement of a wave with distance along the wave. The wave speed is 0.5 meter per second. Okay, and here you have displacement versus distance. What is the period? What is the period? Now remember, velocity, it's distance, or divided by time or wavelength divided by the period. I need the period swap. So it will be lambda divided by velocity V. Lambda or the wavelength, wavelength, the distance between two point consecutive point that are in phase or doing the same thing. So if I take crest and crest, this distance is 1.5 divided by the velocity 0.5. And you should get three seconds. Three seconds. Okay. Okay, question 14. Um, question 14, you have an object. Um, object P moves vertically with a simple harmonic motion. Up and down. Okay. Uh, while object P, object Q moves in a vertical circle. So object P moves in simple harmonic motion up and down like that. The distance between two points that are in phase, this is T, the period. Now he's, he's telling you when P is at the top, of it is motion, Q is at the bottom. So when P is at, at the top, Q is at the bottom. So what is the interval between successive times when the acceleration of P equal and opposite to the acceleration of Q? I need it, the period. The, this distance from here till here, it's half the period. If this distance is T, the distance from here to here is t over 2. So it's t over 2. t over 2. Okay. Now the last question I'm going to solve and then we'll continue. Inshallah, the next video will be question number 20. Okay, here you have experiment to determine the speed of sound in air. A tube that is open at the top is filled with water and a vibrating tuning fork held over the tube as the water is released through a valve. So here we have a, a tuning fork. Um, it's been struck and going to vibrate this toning fork is held on the top of tube that is filled with water and here the valve the uh, uh, that has valve here an increase in intensity of the sound is heard for the first time when the air column length is x okay 
And the next increase is is here is uh, heard when the air uh, column is Y. So here. I will have. Here I have not here and this is here open, so anti not. So it will be like that. Here I have node and node, so it will be almost like that. Um, it's not it's not well drawn, but you you understand the idea. Now here the length between here and here. This is lambda over two. And from here till here, this is quarter lambda. So X will equal lambda over four. While this distance from here till here, this is is y or what this the whole length, the whole depth y minus x. So this one is y minus x. So y minus x equals lambda over two. Okay. Now I need which expression are correct for the wavelength of sound. For the wavelength of sound. Let's start with the first one. 4x. We said x equals lambda over 4. If you do cross multiplication, lambda equals 4x. So this is correct. Here I have y, so I need to find I need to find y. So if I go to this formula, y will equal lambda over two. Take x to the other side plus x. X is lambda over four, so plus lambda over four. Okay. To add them, we have to make them the same denominator. So here, multiply by two, multiply by two. Now we have the same denominator, which is four. Two times lambda is two lambda plus lambda, three lambda, this will equal y. So I need lambda to cross multiplication. Four y will equal three lambda, y will equal, uh, I need lambda, so I need lambda is, uh, is 4y divided by 3 lambda. Lambda divided by 3 divided by 3. So lambda is 4y divided by 3. So the correct answer is I, the first one and the third one. First one and the third one. We'll continue um, solving uh, this document, inshallah, in the next uh, video.